Thanks for watching On Call for All Kids. Today we're giving advice about oral hygiene in adolescence. We'll discuss why it's so important for teens to take care of their gums and teeth, how oral piercings and smoking or vaping impact oral health, and the best ways to maintain that dental health. I'm joined by Dr. Jasmine Reese. She is the medical director of the Adolescent and Young Adult Specialty Clinic here at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. Great to see you, Dr. Reese. How are you? Great to see you, Ashley. Thank you so much for having me. So oral health is so important. Talk about why it's so critical for teens to take care of their gums and their teeth. Just like other parts of our body, our oral health is just as important. We know that about 75% of adolescents um, suffer from gum bleeding and about 13% of teens actually have an untreated cavity. And so the important thing to know is that there are ways to actually prevent cavities from happening. And those are some things that we can talk about today. Well, how about we think about oral health and taking care of our teeth brushing and flossing. So talk about the importance of doing that every single day. Yep, so brushing and flossing can actually help prevent uh, what we call dental caries. Um, and the other word for that is, is cavities. And if left untreated, this can really lead to a lot of pain and even infection. So it's important to know what are some risk factors. So family history could be a risk factor. Wearing braces can be a, a risk factor. Uh, it's important for teens to remember to brush their teeth at least two times a day, floss once a day, um, and even use a toothpaste that has fluoride in it. Now, some teens have oral piercings. What should we know about this? So oral piercings can very much be fashionable and in style, uh, and some people will choose to do this. It's just important to remember that you want to be careful of who's doing the piercing. You want to ask questions and make sure that they're using like high-grade surgical materials like stainless steel. That's really going to um, prevent infection and also even allergic reactions that can occur. Being mindful of how much a teen might be playing around with that piercing, that can become a habit once that's in the mouth, um, but that can lead to a cracked tooth, but also thinking about uh, pieces of food that can get stuck around the piercing, so making sure you're actually removing the piercing, cleaning it really well, that's going to prevent uh, bacterial overgrowth and infection there. Um, so thinking about those things and really educating your teen about how to keep that space and, and those piercings really clean is going to really help your oral hygiene. What should we consider when it comes to mouth guards and sports? Mouth guards are really important for our teens, especially those that are in those contact sports. The whole point of the mouth guard is to really absorb that high energy impact or force that could occur um, during a, a contact play or sport. Um, and so you wanna make sure that that mouth guard is well fitted uh, to your oral cavity. Uh, and so there are some pre-made ones that you can buy over the counter. If those are not fitting well, you might think about one that's more custom fitted. Um, and so you should definitely talk to your dentist about which fit might be best for your team. How about smoking, vaping, or other tobacco use? This is obviously something we don't want adolescents to be doing, but it does happen. Exactly. We're always encouraging our teens to stay away from using any of those substances uh, for a variety of, of health consequences and reasons, right? So we think about brain development uh, being affected, lung health, uh, cardiac health, uh, but oftentimes we forget to think about just our dental health and, and oral hygiene parts of it. And so thinking about tooth decay or tooth staining can happen. Your taste buds can actually get desensitized from these substances. Just think about like bad breath. Right, so some of these things are even more serious, like oral cancers. And so really trying to avoid use at all. But if you do have a teen who's addicted to uh, tobacco or nicotine in any way, work with your healthcare provider or your pediatrician or adolescent medicine doc so that we can get the right help for them to quit. And lastly, how does nutrition in general help with a teen's oral hygiene? Nutrition is super important for your team's growth and development um, in general, but really trying to stay away from those sugary foods and beverages that's going to be healthier uh, for your teeth in general. Drinking more water, milk, of course. Um, thinking about um, our teens that are struggling with eating disorders such as anorexia nervosa or bulimia nervosa that can lead to swollen glands, 
uh, tooth enamel erosion, infection. And so it's really important that we have our teams really optimize their nutrition overall. So a well-balanced diet is important for our teens, for their general growth, and also for their oral hygiene. Well, Dr. Reese, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. It was great to see you. Thank you. And thank you all for watching. Don't forget, you can also visit our website. It's hopkinsallchildrens.org slash newsroom. There you'll find a lot of other timely topics in pediatric health care and a lot of great resources for you and your family. We'll see you next week.